Hello guys, in this video we'll be looking at predicted phenotype traits, uh, basically autosomal DNA predictions for this El Miron female from Iberia. Uh, this female from Iberia was a hunter-gatherer, but she actually preceded the western hunter-gatherers. She was a Magdalenian, which means she came before the western hunter-gatherers, and this is a pretty important factor to consider when looking at her phenotype and even at her GD match results, because she did not have the BH2 mutation, which is a mutation that every uh, western hunter-gatherer had, or almost every, most of them had. Um, and this is a mutation that 23andMe looks for to determine eye color, so with 23andMe she would be predicted to have very dark eyes, unlike the western hunter-gatherers. Um, and it's not because she's got some foreign or exotic admixture, it's just because she existed before before this mutation took place, and that's why she's predicted to have dark brown eyes, Greek-shaped nose, and black hair with my tool. She did not have the European no-go learner mutation in the Pro 319 Pro variant of DRD2, which means it's a couple of connotations that come together with this uh, genotype. It's that she had more dopamine D2 receptors and a higher likelihood of schizophrenia. And in the TAC1 variant of DRD2, she actually had a very uh, archaic, I would say, genotype, which is A1A1. Uh, increases the risk of Parkinson's and the rest and the ADHD2. But um, I've seen every, every ancient individual has had this genotype, but modern individuals tend to have A2A2. When it comes to OXTR or the sociopath gene, she actually had kind of like the opposite of the sociopath gene, increased OXTR. And with EDAR, she did not have East Asian derived EDAR, which means probably did not have East Asian facial traits. And um, when it comes to lactose persistence, she did not have the European lactose persistence mutation, which is a very modern European mutation. She's not a modern individual, so she doesn't have it. And uh, she also did not have the European mutation that protects against high myopia, so she might have needed glasses. When it comes to polygenic traits, polygenic illnesses, she had a pretty average risk score for coronary heart disease. She had an above average risk score for Parkinson's. Um, she had a pretty average risk score for type 2 diabetes. Uh, she had a pretty below average risk score for schizophrenia. And uh, she had an average risk score for bipolar disorder. And finally, she had a slightly above average risk score for asthma. Now, this is her result with MDLPK11. Uh, it's a very exotic result. She's scoring ASI, Neolithic, all these deep, like, deep components, but this is not because she's mixed with them. This is simply because she lacks a lot of the Western hunter-gatherer drift because she precedes Western hunter-gatherers. So she's not derived from Western hunter-gatherers. She precedes them. But with the Oracle, she's closest to El Miron, which is, you know, as you would expect. And she's actually getting modeled as a mixture of El Miron plus Gravetian or Denisova or Neanderthal. So she's a little bit more... Uh, this sample that I uploaded in GED match is a little bit more ancient shifted actually than the reference. And here is her result with MZOPK23B. Now she's scoring a lot of like archaic components, 2.4% uh, archaic African, which is a uniquely Neanderthal group to score. If you do the math, she's got around 4% Neanderthal ancestry and with the Oracle, uh, very high distances. I don't even know what Eta is, so if you don't, if you know what Eta is, please write that in the comments. And uh, this is what she scores with Pan DNA OK10. Notice how she's scoring ASI in Sub-Saharan and ENF. This is not because she's got this admixture, but this is simply because she did not have a lot of the Western hunter-gatherer or like modern Northern European drift because she's not a modern person. She's a very ancient individual. And this is her result with Ancient Eurasia K6 by Gidrosia. Uh, once again, a very exotic looking result. But the Oracle is actually not so exotic. So you can see that uh, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Goyet plus Western Hunter Gatherers. So this is like a typical result actually for a person of this era of European Hunter Gatherer group. This is her result with Gidrosia K3. Now you can look at this and say, oh, she's so exotic. But I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, wow, 76% uh, of West Eurasian Drift already existed at the time she was living. And with G25, she's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Western Hunter Gatherer plus something very like exotic components. And in terms of modern populations who she's closest to, uh, she's closest to Karelians, Vepsians, uh, North Finnish, basically all the usual suspects when it comes to Hunter Gatherer admixture in Europe. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you enjoyed what I'm doing here on YouTube, leave a like and subscribe. And you can download the sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description.